Hello guys and welcome to another video, this is Lyakura's Moments and on this video we're gonna try to play Fortnite with our keyboard and mouse on our Xbox Series S console. So this is the first time I'm playing Fortnite ever, so I just tried out first with the controller to see how it is. And you know what guys, I wasn't bad at all. Definitely at first I was terrible, but once I figured out the buttons of the controller, I made the kill after kill after kill, and on my third game I think I won the game. I didn't expect to win the game so fast. <laughs> so as you can see with the controller I had a pretty good experience, mainly, but sometimes when my opponent was in a distance I couldn't make a kill. I could hit him, but I could never kill him, and that cost me one time and they actually killed me. And as a PC gamer I'll definitely will prefer a mouse aim, so this is what I wanna check today to see how keyboard and mouse will perform with the Fortnite. Alright, so here we have our keyboard and the mouse and according to Xbox most of the mouses and keyboards will do and they can be also wireless as well. The mouse that I will use is from Razer, is the Death Adder Chroma and the keyboard I'm using is the SteelSeries Apex Pro, it's actually an amazing keyboard and I have made a detailed review about both of these products that you can find after in the description below. So I insert the mouse and keyboard to the USB ports on the Xbox and immediately you can see the mouse cursor on the Fortnite menu and navigate with it. On the settings you can change the mouse sensitivity and check or change the mouse or keyboard controls. Playing Fortnite with keyboard and mouse is possible on Xbox as it was one of the first games supporting it. But honestly guys, it felt a bit weird, maybe my mouse sensitivity was wrong, I'm not sure. And the result was all the games I played, I was killed immediately from the first opponent I met. So if I were to finish the video here, the outcome will be that playing Fortnite on the Xbox with the controller is actually great, but with keyboard and mouse sucks, right? But that's not all the truth and this is what I was trying to figure out this whole week, that's why you can see now that my beard have grown out. First, obviously I was using a TV, so I should change the mouse sensitivity on game settings as the mouse has a bigger screen to travel, I thought, or I tried also to tweak the pointer speed on the Xbox menu settings. Long story short, nothing worked to fix that and I even installed Fortnite on my PC just to compare the mouse response and on the PC the aim was perfect. So I spent a couple days trying to figure out what was the problem and I end up with a very good idea. Why don't try to use instead of the TV my monitor with the Xbox? So I set up the monitor and everything solved. My mouse was exactly like I'm on my PC. Perfect sensitivity, perfect aim, no weird floating around, just everything how it's supposed to be. And I return back to killing. I have no idea why the mouse didn't work well with the TV, at least I figured out that it worked perfectly with the monitor. Also, as my experience may diverge from yours, letting us know in the comment section below about your experience playing Fortnite with keyboard and mouse on your Xbox. Do you use monitor, do you use TV and how it works for you? At least you know that if you have an issue with your TV and the mouse is not responding how it should be, switch it to monitor and it will work. Don't forget also to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And on this video over here you can watch 20 games you can play with keyboard and mouse on your Xbox console, that's awesome, check it out.